Good evening, everyone. Welcome today to our devotion to our mother of perpetual help. And let us pray for all our intentions, and especially for the visit that Pope Francis is doing in Canada. Just now is arriving to Quebec for a, a peace and reconciliation with many in Canada. Let us start together saying, Mother of Perpetual Help, your very name inspired confidence. We come before your holy picture in praise and thanksgiving to God, seeking your intercession with Jesus, your son, for all the needs of our lives today. We celebrate your holy motherhood as we proclaim Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. You answer when called to be mother of our Lord, obtain for us the grace to be alive to our baptismal call, and especially to embrace the gospel of life and to respect of life on earth. You wonders are your son when wisdom, knowledge, and grace intercede for us so that we welcome the word of God in our lives and be bearers of the good news to one and all. You delighted as your son heal the sick, intercede for our sick, that they may receive good health and that they in their turn may be healers to others. You enjoy peace as your son comforted the afflicted, intercede for all who suffer, so that they may know that we carry the burdens with them and in this way, we keep the law of Christ. You rejoice at your sons forgive sins. Obtain for us the forgiveness of our sins. And lead us to unbind others and set them free. You suffer at the wounds your son endured for our salvation. Help us to wind up the brokenhearted and to give hope to the dawn trodden. You exult in your son's resurrection Obtain for us the grace to persevere in his way all the days of our life and be granted a place in heaven. You are the first of all the disciples and saints. We trust in your motherly love and care. Obtain for us all the graces we need to fulfill God's plans each day in our lives. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or saw your intercession, was led unheeded. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the World incarnate, despite not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear friends, the readings from today, from Jeremiah, he was complaining about his suffering, and after that, God healed him, and uh, healed him, we can say as well. And in the readings, Jesus is talking about the kingdom of God, explaining by two parables. Let us recognize our sins, and especially let us recognize the love of God who always welcome us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I gravely sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary, every Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. 
May you grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Let us be attentive to the readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah cried out to the Lord, Woe is me, my mother, that you ever bore me, a man of strife and contention to the whole land. I have not lent, and I have not borrowed, yet all of them curse me. Your words were found, and I ate them up, and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. I did not sit in the company of merrymakers, nor did I rejoice. Under the weight of you, your hand I sat alone, for you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain increasing, my wound uncurable, refusing to be healed? Truly, you are to me like a deceitful brook, like waters that fail. Therefore, thus says the Lord, if you turn back, I will take you back, and you shall stand before me. If you utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall serve as my mouth. If they who will, in, who will turn to you, not you who will turn to them. And I will make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze, that they will fight against you, but they shall not prevail over you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked and redeem you from the grasps of, your, of the ruthless. The word of the Lord. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil. From the bloodthirsty, save me. Even now they lie in wait for my life. The mighty stir up strife against me. For no transgression or sin of mine, O Lord. For no fault of mine, they run and make ready. O oh, my strength, I will watch for you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress. My God, in his steadfast love, will meet me. My God will let me look in triumph upon my enemies. But I will sing of your might, I will sing aloud of your steadfast love in the morning, for you have been a fortress for me and a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and uh, cut fish of every kind. I'm sorry. 
tomorrow one. <laughs> Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, who someone found and hide. Then, in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue reading the Gospel, Matthew, and uh, it's a lot of catechesis, especially about uh, prayer, about uh, forgiveness, and about how we can relate to other people. And Jesus uh, is going uh, deeply in his uh, message now, explaining about the meaning of kingdom of heaven, because it was the main topic in what he did and in what he said to the people. And uh, he used one of the, liter um, the language that people could understand, and especially today, two small parables, one who was working in a field, and unexpectedly, he found a treasure. And the other one who worked like in mines, he was look, looking for, a, for a, a good pearl, for a good treasure. And after a lot of work, he found it. Two different ways how the kingdom of God is like. One unexpectedly, and the other who seek, who search for it. This is how God works in our lives. How many times we find God in an unexpectedly ways? Maybe somebody come to talk about God. Maybe we receive a visit. Maybe we receive good news. Or maybe we have a revelation, an epiphany we call. You go to the beach, go for a trip, and something inside happened to you, some God experience. This is unexpectedly. But the other way is how the kingdom of God is among us is when we search, when we seek for that and work hard. How we can work in that? When we just uh, pray, when we read the Bible, when we have some kind of devotion, I don't know, novenas or um, the um, station of the cross, meditation, central prayer, many, many other kind of prayers. Come and just contemplate the holy sacraments, listening to him, talking with him. And one day you find the joy that you look for. And you just said, this is the best experience that I have been in my life. And I think you can have or have been have this kind of epiphanies. Myself, I can say that I had some kind of experience. Sometimes when I look for, I search, like the one who, who was look for a pearl. And I work in prayer, I just work welcoming people. I just try to do the best thing that I can do. And one day some beautiful experience come to me. And other times, unexpectedly, I have these revelations, this good news that make your life th be different. Or uh, as you say, May my day, or my week, or my year. This kind of experiences. But you know, God is always using ways to meet us. 
and to reveal his love, his mercy, his compassion. He always is there. This is the kingdom of God. This is the experience that people who knew Jesus personally had. This is the experience that throughout two thousand years we have been experienced as well in the Holy Eucharist, in reading the Bible, in prayers. Don't give up prayer. One day you find the pearls and you find the joy and God is always there. And who is leading this uh, journey? Remember, the Holy Spirit. This is the promise that God gives to us. I will be with you until the end of age. This is the Holy Spirit who is always present. I hope this spirit that you receive in your baptism and confirm in your confirmation is leading your lives. Amen. For the people who don't have the paper, it's in the back, some cheats. Lord Jesus Christ, at the word from Mary, your mother, you change water into wine in Cana in Galilee. Hear our prayers and grant our petitions in honor of our mother of perpetual help. Grant wisdom and courage to all our religious and civil leaders, our Holy Father Pope Francis, our bishops and all who lead us, we pray. He is Lord through Mary, our mother. Grant peace, unity, and good harvest in all the world, especially in places of conflict, war, famine, and need, we pray. Hear us, Lord through Mary, our mother. Grant married couples the grace of their sacrament, wives and husbands a binding love for each other, parents the grace to welcome and cherish their children, single parent families unity and strength, and peace and blessing on all our homes, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to our single adults fulfillment in their call. To our young people, success in their endeavors and courage to witness to their faith. To our elderly, vitality, security, and contentment in their days. And to the separated and divorced, the grace of your spirit, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant workers confidence in their work, dignity in their accomplishments, joy in their contributions, a just and living wage, and to the unemployed grant gainful work, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to your church many labors for the harvest, good priests, deacons, brothers, sisters, and laity, who will dedicate their lives to your faithful people, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal life to all the deceased, especially Patty and Catherine Byrne and family, Jerome Pittman and Richard Hall, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they obtain a place in the communion of saints where every tear shall be wiped away and where we shall meet you, our God, face to face, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to each of us the grace to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you each day of our lives. For whatever we do to the least of our sisters or brothers, we do to you, we pray. Yes, Lord, Mary, Mary. Let us pray for something that we are looking for or seek for, maybe health, maybe healing, maybe better relationships in our family, for the peace, and a better country, anything that you are seeking for. We pray. 
God of mercy and compassion, hear and answer these prayers, alone with the intentions that had been placed before the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, seeking her intercession, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work with human hands. It did become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands. It did become our spiritual drink. Amen. O Lord, watch my iniquity clean from my sins. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotionness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lip are your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory, we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are your full, are your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as one for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask, that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, 
broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at, at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all other bishops, that in the world, torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic, a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all who have died in your faith, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, and meet them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrims is done, that we come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with uh, all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son, Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. So Christ. Let 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to receive the Santa my Lord. Only say the word, and the Son shall be held. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. We enter your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares of his divine nature through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of Mary, your perpetual help, be with you to defend you, within you to sustain you, before you to lead you, behind you to protect you, and above you to bless you all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you along the women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Good evening for everyone.